What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. My name's Nathan. And this is Full Auto Cars. In today's video, we're going to be jumping into the very first video designing this hand clutch for the 350Z. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just finished soldering up this little piece here. If you can see, I just put these two little um, terminal connectors here on each of these ends because it did not have those there before and that's going to make it a lot easier to actually connect the wires from the sensor into this little uh, HX711 board. Alright guys, so right here is the setup. We've got an Arduino Uno that's going to be powered by this battery here going to an LCD screen, then we have an S-type load cell, and then we also have an HX711 amplifier right here. I had to do some soldering on this a little bit earlier to get these terminals, I don't know if you can see that, these terminals uh, put on here for easier connection to the load cell here. But anyways, we're using this S-type load cell first to get the clutch pedal force required when you're pressing with your foot before we order a stepper motor or whatever a kind of actuator we're going to be using to depress the clutch pedal. Alright guys, so Nathan is up in the Z. We've got the setup right here. I'm going to put that down and put the S-type load cell in between the pedal and Nathan's foot. Now we could use a different type of load cell that's more of just a flat one that would be a lot easier to put down there. However, we needed this S-type load cell for whenever we make the actual grip portion which is going to go on the shift lever down there, you can see, but that's just going to be somewhat of a bike brake that will then pull on this S-type load cell. So that is why we needed this S-type load cell so we can have one end right here connected to the lever and another end connected to something steady. So when we pull on the lever, it's going to pull on this and make a force. All right guys, so here's just a little example here. We got Nathan's gonna put that sensor underneath my foot down there. And I am trying not to uh, squash Nathan's foot. We already tried with Nathan, but his big boots did not make this very easy. Good so far? Yep, keep pushing. Whoa. All right, well, so it, it we peaked got at about 60, if you could see that. I think it was like 57 or something, maybe. Yeah, it was. It got up to 55 ish pounds, and that's about what we had last time. We got all the way up to 60, and the force does increase when you push a little bit quicker, but we do seem to get it, be getting pretty accurate readings. All right, guys, so now we're jumping out here to the 350Z. We're going to start taking apart some of the interior stuff, such as the center console take off the shift knob, and also while I'm in here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace the head unit that's in there currently with one that has uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, so that way it's kind of a more modern, updated interior. Since I'm already in there, taking apart stuff anyway, I might as well do it now if I'm gonna do it. So first things first, I took apart the uh, positive terminal on the battery. Since I am gonna be inside messing with some of the electrical connections, just rather be safe than sorry. But I'll jump onto the inside and start taking apart stuff in there. For the most part, I think I'll do a time-lapse video of this, so that way you don't have to sit through and watch it, and it's not gonna be like an explanation on how to do all this stuff type of video, because I'm kind of learning as I go and watching YouTube videos on how to take that stuff apart already. But yeah, we'll jump to a time-lapse and uh, start taking apart the interior.
right guys so we just finished taking out all the center console bits here you can see got the big main one down and then all this down here off as well ideally the reason we were going to do this is to get an idea of where we're going to run the wires so for the arduino and the force sensor that's going to go right in here where the center console is the center console is going to stay here but we got to get these wires run somehow so we want to have the arduino set up right here and hopefully run the wires down along through here up in here and then under the front dash up there you can see and then down over there by the uh, pedals there'll be a stepper motor which is where we're running these wires to at that stepper motor we're just trying to get all these wires tucked up out of the way so it's a clean nice look but another reason for taking apart this center console is i'm going to be replacing this head unit right here with one with carplay kind of give it a more modernized feel at this moment we are kind of at a standstill right now until some of the parts get in i've ordered a stepper motor stepper motor driver we also had to order something to convert from a 12 volt car battery to 48 volts dc for this stepper motor now while that's all coming in i will go ahead and order this head unit so in case that would happen to come in first we'll get that all hooked up while we're waiting on the motor drivers all right guys so i was editing this video and i realized i did not have an outro clip for it so right here is the outro unfortunately we did not get a whole lot done in ways of getting that hand clutch put in however we did get that entire interior torn apart and got a whole bunch of stuff on order to come in now we've got a new video coming out in the next week the following week after this video and hopefully in that one we will get a first test drive and then maybe do a couple more modifications go over the whole system what's in place what's uh, needing to come yet uh, but yeah i hope you guys are interested by this and enjoy it if you are let me know down in the comment section what you think about this project and with that said we'll see you in the next video